So there are three layers in the uh, Intercoin system. And as I'm explaining this, I'm also bringing up all these resources because everything's documented. So you're, uh, everybody's invited to go to community.intercoin.org. There's been a Democracy, poverty reduction, and cryptocurrency. Communities get their own currency. Decentralized social networks. So there are three layers in the uh, Intercoin system. And as I'm explaining this, I'm also bringing up all these resources because everything's documented. So you're, uh, everybody's invited to go to community.intercoin.org and sign up because we discuss this all like... This is, this is our forum, and we really discuss all of this, all of this. In, in open. Okay. So essentially, the platform is the first layer. This layer is supposed to be like Ethereum or Tron or Polkadot or Cardano or whatever, right? XDAI chain, Binance chain. They all want to have a network of nodes that executes smart contracts. All of those nodes support the same virtual machine called the EVM, the Ethereum virtual machine. And so all of the smart contracts that we write, and most everybody today writes, they write it in Solidity. And it's compiled onto the Ethereum virtual machine. And essentially what that does is it uh, helps to, um, you know, to essentially run the thing. Uh, everybody is wants to be compatible with it, whether you're Tron or whether you're Binance. Why? Because then you get access to all of the uh, applications that have been written on it. So second uh, layer, and this is the important one, it's a new thing. And this is the, uh, the blockchain layer. This is the, you know, say the uh, decentralized application layer. This is basically the smart contract layer. That's the best way to put it. This consists of smart contract backend. So it has the rules, do this, do that. If this happens, that happens, send balance, right? This enforces the rules. And for the first time, we can trust that the enforcement is going to actually happen. Finally, you have the application layer. This is what I'm talking about, the UX, user experience. And so these are called dApps or decentralized apps. And essentially, you know, they give you um, an interface which then uses this, which runs on that. So we, our code doesn't have to only run on Ethereum. What Elena mentioned was that two years ago when we were doing this, there was no alternative to Ethereum that was any good, maybe Tron, I don't know. But um, so we designed an entirely new system, an internet protocol, and we're going to be implementing something in this space next year, not 2021. So that's another thing that we're going to do. It's going to be like Cardano or like Polkadot or like other things, but totally different. It's not even going to be a blockchain. This is going to be beyond the blockchain. However, that's not something we need to do anymore because all of these projects, Tron, Polkadot, Cardano, they all move to support Ethereum. Just to give you one example, KIN is a currency by Kick Messenger and they were funded by Union Square Ventures. They recently got let go by the SEC and they're able to do stuff. They raised $700 million and they're just porting their code to something called Solana. I interviewed those guys two years ago uh, on a panel. Uh, anyway, Solana is uh, something that just launched recently on a bunch of exchanges. They are just one of the many platforms that are tackling this problem. So what Elena said is true. Intercoin does have its own solution and we've architected it, but we don't need it to make things work. We can actually make things work even today. Uh, what we do is we run all the business logic on Tron, XDAI chain, basically cheap and fast networks. And then we bridge the tokens back to Ethereum when it's time to cash out. Join the intercoincommunity.org. Literally just go to community.intercoin.org, right? Yeah. And sign up. And then what I'd like you to do is if you have any questions, don't be shy. Start a new topic, right? And just even if you don't have any questions, just introduce yourself. We have a thing here, like it's going to show up, like introduce yourself. And mm -hmm. we're going to reach out to you because what I want is not just for people to invest in Intercoin. I want people to understand Intercoin and to get involved and join the movement, right? 
And we can only do that if we are all kind of communicating and we're all building it together. So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, you know, you can either drop your email in the chat if you haven't already, or just sign up on the site and we will uh, circle back.